I gotta say guys, if I start hitting the driver well, if I start hitting the tee shots well, I could throw up a deadly score because the putter is rolling today. That's one of the craziest parts of my life right there. First hole that we're starting on, hole number 10, straight away par five. Hole 10 and one out here, par five. Steve's playing the blue tees. I'm playing the tips today. Driver in hand, see how low we can go. Good. All right, Steve, let's see it. A little butter cut. I'm absolutely saying no words. Serious golf today. Okay. That's actually going to be all right. Uh, okay, good start for Steven and I. Well, <laughs> that thing kicks so hard left. Dude, these greens are hard. These fairways are hard. Steve is trying to break 80, and I'm trying to break 65, and we're both out of play on hole one. That's perfect. It's not looking good. All right, well, 309. <laughs> I got a three wood, obviously. Can't have any mistakes, so hopefully we can make par here. Bumper. Oh, gotta get up and down for par. I can't make bogeys, man. I gotta get that up and down. Come on. Steve's got like 220. Told him to just hit seven iron. Don't get too aggressive. Like, play for par bogey at this point. Got it, seven iron in hand. See. That's good. This sand is like rock hard. All right, we'll see if I can get it up and down. 58 degree. Bruh, are you kidding me? All right. Bogies are not okay. That is an over par hole to start. Dang it. I want to minimize my mistakes. That's my only goal today. I got a 60 degree. I'm just going to try to put it close like Garrett did. Get up and down for a par. Whoa. That's a spin, Steve. All right, let's see if we can't get a par off with a drop. Yeah. One over through one. And we got to get to uh, to eight under. We got some work to do. Where am I looking at? That's some meat, brother. Both one over, two bogeys. I gotta say, this is one of those holes, if you hit the fairway, it's like guarantee birdie, but it's a very tight fairway. I think, I told Shayla, I think I should almost just hit four iron off that tee and just play like four iron, three wood. Neither here nor there, no ifs, ands, or buts, but we just gotta go low, onto the next, par three. All right, so I've kind of charted out my round in my head. And I think on the back nine, it is definitely harder. I need to shoot three under on this backside. It's obviously not the start you want, but I've played this course a time or two, so I should be able to hopefully just dial it in. 148 par three, got a little pitching wedge. If anything, you want to be a little long. That's why I have pitching wedge, it's downwind here. I'll just send this one past the pin and hopefully we can make it downhill 10 footer. That's the goal. Okay, almost made it. <laughs> that was sick. Dude, I wouldn't have had any reaction if that went in. I just would have been so stunned. Let's see if we can make that for bird. 127 to the pin. I got a 56, 52 degree. Garrett put it close. Let's make a birdie. Sit, 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 sit. Actually? Yeah. No. A little bit. That's good. That's the key. Like, on, on holes like this, you got to play to the misses and, like, you can't be short here, so you just. Play it long. No, oh, that's crazy. It lands right there and ends up directly on the other side. That would have been cool to make a hole in one. All right, I'm just trying to figure out these greens. Right to left, pretty quick. What? Not quick. Huh, I get to look, you get to see a read off Garrett, but that was not quick at all. These greens have been like kind of tricky today because they seem to be pretty fast, but then Steve hit that and now it's got me confuzzled a little. Damn. Whoa, that snapped. All right, Steve, let's just clean out this par. Oh, that's good. There ain't no cleaning up that when you make a mistake like that. Bogey, God. That's just a bogey, that's fine. That's the thing with Steve is like, he's got to play for nothing worse than bogey. Have a couple birdies thrown in there, maybe some pars, and he should be able to break 80 today. I'm literally hitting four iron and it could reach the water. These fairways are so hard. You could carry a ball 200 yards and it could roll to 300. Hitting four iron, hopefully it's uh, not too much. 
Chunk and run. Oh, Lord. I mean, look at that, Taylor. I chunked it. I hit two inches behind that ball, and it probably went 260. That's crazy. I literally have Steven hitting six iron. It's probably not something he would typically do. It's like 300 to the water, and I think six iron could get close to the water for Steve. The goal for me is minimizing mistakes, and I've made two. What? <laughs> say minimizing mistakes. Minimizing mistakes, and I've made two already. So, hey, <laughs> good boys. Six iron in hand. Perfect. The, the thing I would say is you've only made one mistake, and that was on hole two. Hole one, I don't really count as a mistake. All right, this is a different way I play golf. Never play it like this, but these, this back nine's tight. I got a seven iron 191. Let's just win in the back. Let's just put a good swing on it. That's all you can hope for. Draw. Where is it? Oh, that could be shit. You see a bounce? I haven't seen it. 180, but it's so downwind. I think I'm going nine iron. Playing it like a one, 168 shot. If anything, you want to be below the hole. I need to go, Chandler. We're set. I'm shocked that that got there. I hit that as hard as I could, but got about a 10 footer for Bird. I don't have anything. I don't even know where my ball is at, brother. <laughs> I was telling Steve this is a par hole, but suddenly it turned into let's make this for Birdie, and it's stealing one from the field. Uh, this would get me under par. So it kind of get me back on track for that 65 goal, obviously. These greens are so spongy, it's hard to even find your ball marks. There we go. All right, we got to get up and down for a bogey. We're not getting the t best position, boys. Oh, you were right, Steve. Good bogey. I'm giving that to you. Uh, dude, these bogeys, it's the stupid little mistakes I make. Yeah, you can pick up my ball because I'm going pee. I don't mind that. For Steve today, bogeys are not bad. The problem is, as soon as he starts getting over aggressive and making bogeys because like Steve if he just plays to his abilities he will make birdies and he will make a lot of parts so his time will come this round I think that 79 number is still in play for him and I don't know what this putt does there we go two in a row let's go come on we're two two or three more birdies away from the goal on the back nine the front nine the goal is going to be around six under trust me when I say it's a birdie hole but this tree always causes some issues right makes my job a lot harder especially since i i tend to fade it i think driver is too much club too i think if we try and work a three wood that's probably our best bet draw three wood that's the goal too much draw Yeah, you know, I was so scared of going right i always go right on this hole just overcooked it if i can find it we're gonna be okay if i can't we're gonna have to take another drop. I wanna see like a little, just your little butter cut. Just trust your swing. This might be in the hole. Taylor, steady hands here, brother. Oh, what a bad bounce. Is it just short of the green? Yep. Just short. We can get up and down for it though. Jeez. I got lucky. I'm pin high, just left. I knew as long as I carried those trees back there, I was gonna be fine, and thankfully I did. I have 47, I gotta take this one up a little bit. Gotta avoid this, this ridge in my way. As long as I do that, I should be able to give myself a nice look at birdie. Hopefully take it to two under. Oh, a little nippy. We hit a good shot. Let's just see if we can't capitalize. From that side of the hole, it doesn't look like it moves much. This side of the hole, it looks like it snaps. We're gonna play somewhere in between. Yep. Oh, wow, okay, wow. Two under, there we go, that's three in a row. That's a turkey. I need to make this, get back on track, boy. You got this. Oh my snap, what? All right, parts don't hurt you, buddy. Yeah, it's a good part. Parts don't hurt you, buddy, but that hurts me. 218, if anything, you kind of want to be a little short on this hole. Front right's not a bad spot. Front left's also not bad. I just want to put something like around the pin-ish. It's a full swing five iron, a little into the breeze off the right. Just gotta trust it. See if we can put one, put one decent up there. Sit, sit, ah. 
That was not a not a great swing there, but that's all right. Hopefully, we can get that up and down for bar. All right, I got a six iron. Let's play with some authority here. Yeah, I like this. Give yeah. him a look at it. Yeah. All right. Long left. That's money. Get into it, boy. See if I can't seven putt. Pretty simple little flopper. If I hit a nice shot, I should be able to get this up and down. Got to play this as a par hole, and thankfully uh, we got away with par. Keeps me at two under through four. No, through five, right? Through five. There we go. All right, Steve. Let's take our time on this one. Steve can make this pot. Whatever it is, it's inside the hole. It's, not, it's nothing crazy. Nerves of steel. That's uh, that's two pars in a row for Steve. Three bogeys and then two pars. That uh, that keeps him at three over through five. On to the next hole number 15. This back nine, I was saying it, but like this is the one you got to dodge. If I can just make a couple more birdies, I'm in a solid position. Here's the problem, guys. I can't get myself to hit driver because these fairways just roll a country mile. I want to give myself like 170 if possible, which means this has to probably go like 250. And I trust a little bit of a lower four iron here, right up the left side little ground roller. See ya. Well, that's uh, now we're playing for bogey, unfortunately. I laid back for no reason. All right, aim at the bunker, play a fade, Garrett said. I feel confident with my driver, so. Let's see if we can't get a paw, bir birdie. I've had two really good looks at it, and I just haven't capitalized. Sit, 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 catch the bunker, catch the bunker. Oh, you got lucky. <laughs> it's 260 to carry the bunker. If you carried it, you were screwed. Yeah, I went, I landed right into it, you know? Nice, easy swing, now we can get up and down. I'm still like playing for bogey slash par, because I have 230, and I really don't have a lie where I can actually hit it at the green. Like, I, here's the question. Do I try and get it close to the green? I think you can, it's just this clump behind it's just this. Right. All right, I'm going seven iron. I'm gonna just try and aim at this left bunker, give myself a chip at the hole. I was trying to aim a little bit left. Go for the big part of uh, where you wanna miss and hope I can get up and down for par. So like this and like two other holes are really the, the hard parts of this course. If I can get past this. Then I feel good. Well, Steve's in the bunker. He's going eight iron. He's got like 150. I like this play. It's a little into the wind. This should be good. Long. Yeah, that's fine. He's chipping, honestly. I've said it a million times this hole. This is one of the harder ones. It's the one you got to dodge. 69 yards, pretty much my favorite yardage. So uh, not much to it. You got to open up the pace a little bit because of a bunker short. If I can make par here, that would be like stealing one right now. So, 58 degree, we'll see what we can do. I put myself in the worst spot you can be at. Horse management, once again. Land in. Oh, frick. We gotta make this for our boat, par. All right, that's all right. Bogey on this whole spot. I'll take it. Four over through six, not a bad start for Steve. Front nine again, more scoreable. I got about 10 feet down the hill, a little bit of a slider. All right, that's one of the craziest parts of my life right there. I gotta say guys, if I start hitting the driver well, if I start hitting the tee shots well, I could throw up a deadly score because the putter is rolling today. On to the next, par three. Three holes left on the back nine. All right, 161, there's par 71 today. I didn't even know that, Taylor just checked, that's crazy. Got a nine iron, wind off the left, trying to trust a draw here. I like the way this feels, fits my eye. See if we can make another birdie. There's no way this is still going left, Taylor. There's no way, dude, there's no 
way. Dude, I look at the flag and it's like blowing probably 15 off the left, maybe 10 at at the very least. I ate that shot pretty much exactly how I wanted to. Unfortunately, the wind just didn't grab my balls. I'm in the bunker. All right, 141, Steve's got P-Wedge. Saw Corey Cotton today. That was so random too. Like he was checking out and we were checking out. Shout out Dude Perfect. It's like, wait, what? That's Corey. And he's like, yo, you guys filmed today. Like, yeah, it's so weird, small world. I should be able to make a par from there, but what the heck happened there? That's on me. I told him pitching left. I'm actually trying to make this bunker shot. 58 degree in hand, see what we can do. Yep. All right, we got a big putt up here. See if we can't make a par. No way. Oh God, I thought right, I made good. it. Good par. All right, I've made a crazy par in the last hole. We'll see if we can do it again. Right. <laughs> in for bogey that's unfortunate that is unfortunate we have two holes left to hit the goal this next hole is not typically a birdie hole but if i can birdie i feel like i'm kind of stealing one from the field and then hole number 18 is a, a reachable par five so i'm not out of it on this nine like the the nine hole goal the checkpoint i guess if you will was three under i'm one under right now it's a very unfortunate bogey but uh two remain It is short of it. It's just scary whenever you hit like somewhat of a long club on the tee shots because these fairways just roll forever. Thankfully that stopped short though. Is the green on the left side? Yeah, it's left. Okay, I'm just gonna hit a fire right up there. Yeah, this is a smart play. Yeah. Catch a piece. Mine stopped probably like 10 yards short here. I probably have like 175. It's into the wind though. It's a tricky one. It's either eight or nine. I'm going eight iron. See if I can get myself a birdie look and hopefully, hopefully, birdie these last two. Get it to three under. Thought about nine. I think that wind was a little bit more strong than I, than I could feel. It's 167. Sign my golf ball, so if you ever find some, just know it was Steve, brother. Just know it was Steve. All right, let's hit a good shot here. Come on, how do you draw for it? That's fine. Also, that's right where you is. Yeah, because I've been hitting a big old draw. All right, I'm leaving the pin in, but it's a very makeful chip shot. I probably got, oh, I would say maybe 10 yards. A little just bump and run. Play the contour of the greens. Just trust it and hopefully it rolls left into the hole. Ah. All right, in for par though. One under, not gonna cut it on this nine. Hopefully we can make eagle or birdie on the final. Sit down. What do you mean? Sit in the hole, Steve? Sit in the hole, yes! What a birdie! Gosh, I needed that, dude. That, I had three, two good birdie looks and I, from like six feet and I missed them. And then that goes in, let's go, boys. Something about Steve putting like second to last hole, good, good major. I tell Steve he has an impossible putt, 30 footer over a ridge, makes it. There, 30 footer over a ridge off the green, makes it. Something about him and ridges. I'm trying to play four iron, then another four iron, gonna trust it. Play. Get myself another four iron and a little flip 60 degree. Hopefully we can either hole out or make birdie. Honestly, two like two under is respectable going into the next nine. I've shot five under on the front nine out here, and I know it's very doable. Because that day that I shot five under, there was actually some there was some strokes left out there. So I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. Dude, I just got scared of the right. Been playing a draw with my iron, so I'm aiming up the right side. Just trying to draw one down there, four iron in hand. Give myself a nice look at the green. Hopefully, make a birdie. The 
reason I one handed that is I was so like it's hard to explain. It's like bowling. You know what I'm saying? Like these fairways, if it just slightly gets off, it's gonna roll into the into the stuff. You miss your target by like five yards out here and you could be screwed. But I'm happy with that. Ended up in the fairway. Yeah, I mean out of that tall grass, you just don't want to hit any more than, than four iron. Or sorry, any more than six iron. Steve just found that. I literally can't even see the freaking American flag. Hit your slinger. That's perfect. That's so good. <laughs> Look at how how much that bounces. You said a slinger. I barely hit that with that slinger. That's crazy. Oh. All right, 97 yards of the pin. I honestly, I'm gonna take that. That's a good. That's a good get out of free jail card right there. Let's just hit one at the pin. Damn it, dude. Stupid little mistake that I made. That's so far gone. Back down, please. We had a, something good going. That's all right. 80 yards, trying to carry this 75, a lower one, one hop, hopefully stopper, right by the hole. That's the goal. 58 degree in hand. The right idea. A little low skipper, unfortunately, just didn't carry it to that 75 number. If you could see what I'm looking at, this is impossible. Where I gotta land it, and I brought the wrong putter. I'm gonna land it right on this ledge, huh? That's fine. Tough, tough shot. She went really wrong, but we're putting. This is to finish the front nine. Well, our front nine, the back nine out here at two under. Not gonna be too upset with that. I think I'm in. I'm in range. Pushed it. All right, well, unfortunate finish with the par there from 80 yards, but on to the next nine, one under par. You got it. We're in range. You got it. Oh, leg, please. Run. Take a second, take a breath, make a putt. <laughs> yes, sir. There, that's clutch. That's on a slope, too. Woo, that was scary, I'm gonna be honest. Hey, Steve's in range. What are we at? Four You're over? four over. Steve needs a three over next nine, and I need six under to. No, six under. I need six under. To That's shoot in 64. play. That is in play. Yeah. Come on, Shay. Let's go. Little par five. Tenth hole of the day. Little dog leg left. Got driver in hand. Trying to just play the draw. You like that? Yeah. Just a little draw. A little slinger. to him, Shaler. Might have. Yeah, that thing's going. <laughs> I want to see a break 80. Okay. Uh, that's my goal today, boys. Perfect. Yeah. Ride that hill. Oh, yeah. 39. Nice. That's going to be a ways up there, boys. All right. Well, Steven and I, you could literally put a blanket over our balls. That's how close we are to each other um, after those two tee shots, Steve. 179. I got an eight iron. Eagle time. Eagle time. Eagle time. Potentially. Oh my gosh. That, that could be an eagle. That's that something. Eight. That was an eight. I, I kind of whipped her in there. I got nine here, Shaler. I also need that eagle. Got to go low here. Got to bounce left. Oh, it's a little short. I don't know. Right to left up the hill. I'm not gonna say I need this putt to fall. I don't. There's plenty of golf to be played. I'm just gonna hit this putt to the best of my ability and hope that it rolls in. Go. I think it's there. Ah, woo, that one's good. All right, Steve, take this eagle. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's good. Good birdie. Tap it in. Millimeters away, boys. There you go. Look at that. It feels so, it feels like silk. Interesting, huh? Through 10, Steven is now three over, and I am now two under. I got some progress to make. I gotta go five more under. It's in play. It is in play. 296 to the water, actually 300. I have a six iron, uh, I'm just trying to play it up the right side, give myself a nice little layup here, and from there, hopefully put one on the green, and honestly make a par on this hole. This is one of the hardest holes out here. This is the last super hard hole, hole number five is all right. Kind of hard, but let's see if we can just make a par here. All right, six iron layup, because four iron, 
just never know where it could roll too much. <laughs> Bro, that just rolled so much. Did it really? Yeah. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> it's short of it, but I just wanted to be safe because like 300 downwind on these fairways, you just never know. I'm in the fairway, that's all that matters. Ow. All right, here we go. I'm going at those groups of three trees. It's a risk and reward play. Yeah. Downwind, that should carry. Should be, that should be good. I freaking smacked that thigh. I have to make this clear, guys. You saw it on camera. I might have carried into the fairway by what, 20 yards? Yeah. And look, look at how much this rolled. This is a six iron. This is crazy. Look at that. That's how much that rolled. I swear that probably had, what, 120 yards of roll, probably? With a six iron? Yeah, honestly, because it, it landed like 30 yards short of that cart sign. So it, it probably had 100 yards of roll, yeah. It is uh, it's a different ball game out here at the trails of Frisco. Every time I come out here, I swear it's, it's always rolling like this. We could have just had 10 rains and it's still gonna roll, so. Is this crazy from 170 to hit a pitching wedge? I don't think it's crazy. Downwind? Just gotta full swing it. Yes, this is real. I'm hitting a pitching wedge from 170. The ball is flying. Hopefully this is enough. Uh, it's definitely a full swing. I just feel better about, if anything, you want to be short of this hole, so. I don't mind if this lands short of the green. Ah. Expected a bigger hop. How hard these fairways are, but I am totally fine with that position there. These balls right in here, unfortunately, did not clear. Had them drop right here. How far? 156. Should I hit a P wedge? I like P wedge, yeah. I think that's plenty downwind out of the rough. Should be money. Oh, you butt cheek wedge. Open face, that'll do it right there. Open face and wrong club. Chandler said I'm gonna chip this in, right? Yeah. I like that mentality. Well, let's chip it in. A little right to left, left to right, right in the hole, yeah? Oh. oh! Oh! Yikes, that was faster than I thought. Dang it, Taylor, we got we fell in love with the line there. Yeah, we did. All right, here we go. Come on, Steve. It's not spinning. Dude, that... Ugh. I don't want that putt. Hopefully he doesn't have to putt that. All right, this would be a huge putt. Come on. Dude, that hit everything oh. in the world. Oh my, yes! Dude, those are the putts that you need in situations like this. Those are the putts that you need in situations like this. Go ahead, Steve. All right. In for Bogue. I think there's no Sorry, double. Sorry, double. Shoot. Yeah, that's, that's on me. That's five over. This is the problem. As long as I don't make nines, I'm chilling. I'll say that was like Steve's pretty much first mistake of the day. Seven more holes. I got to go five under on the next seven. Steve just needs to stay chilling where he's at. There's a lot of scorable holes. All right, seven iron. 197. Wind's down off the right. It almost feels like too much, but I'm gonna trust it. Trust, go. the, trust the draw here. Hitting good golf shots. Swing the club well, unfortunately, uh, wind just took the ball. That's not where you can miss. You gotta push it out to the right side. Here we go, let's try to hit the green. Let's do something good for the boys. Coming off a double, clear the mind. We're gonna start at this hump and let it hump in there. Going to. That's see, that's what I should have done, Steve. That is what I should have done. It's a safe play. A little eight iron. I could have probably clubbed it to a seven. It's one a little easier, but we got a putt. Gotta make this. Well, not technically, but I'm gonna try and make this. I need to try and make this. That's two times in a row that I played this hole. Steve and I played it earlier. I almost did the same thing. It's all good. Hopefully we can make that for the par. All right, here's my bird. Long one. Um, just got to get the, the pace right. We're chilling. Run. Nice. Pace was pretty good there. Pretty far. A little par. I'll take it. Focused. Need this to fall. Come on. Oh my, dude, did you see that? That was That's crazy. crazy. What did that do? <laughs> right at the hole, it dove. 
Been making the putts today. It's just about giving myself opportunities at birdies now. Unfortunately, I just haven't given myself much, but when I do get looks, they go in. That's the key on these next six holes. Got to play them five under. I feel pretty good. Swing feels pretty solid. Again, just got to give myself opportunity. Need something to happen, guys. Two under par, four and then 60 degrees is what it normally is if I hit it well, so see what we can do. And that's in it. Every time I play this hole, Taylor, in that bunker. Watch it, land super soft. And Short of it. <laughs> okay, hey, that might be the break we need right there, guys. That might be the change, the shift in the momentum. How about I hit something sick here? How about we do that? I like that. Something sick. Yeah, hit me with something sick. Dude. Okay, you're gonna be like, dang, that is sick. You're gonna literally say that in quotes, that is sick. That is not sick. It's sick if it carries. Oh, it did. I did not hear a thing, you might've got lucky. <laughs> that was supposed to be sick, but it wasn't sick. 110, full 58. Gotta get aggressive, that's why I'm hitting 58. 54, I just don't feel great about. Into the wind, gotta draw one in there. That looks so nice. I thought it was the gonna whole land way. In. I thought that was gonna go in. Gotta make a putt now. About 10 feet. We're figuring it out. This back nine, we're kind of figuring stuff out. We made a double, figured something out. We're gonna figure this out. We got a little 60 degree here, 105. Went from the right to the left. Last time I hit a 60, went about 110. So this should be the perfect club. That's just an old eyeball. That'll play. We got about, let's say 10 feet up the hill, maybe 11. I'm two under, this is getting me a three. Just gotta claw away at that number. We got another par five. There's opportunities out there, that's all I'm gonna say. I landed a bit short and spun back. That's unfortunate, just needed a little bit more juice on it. Kinda stopped dead, we just gotta make a putt. You ready for this, Shaler? I'm ready. Oh, Steve! No! <sighs> Right when I said that, I knew it was going to be special, but ah, not special enough. You know how it goes, par. It all comes down to reading this putt. First tricky one of the day that I can tell of. I think I got it here, boys. Come on. I thought I missed it. 100% thought I missed it left, Shaler. I literally thought, because like it started diving left and then it held up. Wow. I mean, it was a good stroke, fortunately. I got the right read. I thought for sure I missed it, but three under. All right, five left. We're chipping away at that number, Shayla. That's what we're doing. Next hole, part four. Driver, 54 degree. Driver in hand, part four. I'm trying to launch this one a little bit higher. I'm trying to go over this tree right here. Just kind of take it out of play. That's the goal. A little tight draw. Let's do what we've been doing. A nice drive. Just trying to replicate hole one's drive. Oh, got over, barely. No, missed the bunker. Oh my gosh! Dude, Where is it? That is the luck you need in stuff like this. I hit a nice drive, but I clipped the leaves, gets over, two, it skirts on the inside of the lip, rides the lip, and just stays out of the bunker. <laughs> it was crazy. I got really lucky twice on this on this shot, but I think those are the breaks that you need when you're trying to break 65, so could be our day. Drivers are feeling good, so we're gonna put this about 20 yards away from the green. Dude, that's odd. Steve has essentially been Tiger Woods lately. Oh, you're fine. Oh, fine. I hit that like a baby. Slicked her in there, though. This is gonna be a birdie. I can feel it. The golf gods have have blessed my ball. One, four, five. Just a nice pitching wedge. Not much to it. Let's see if we can make birdie. Run the hole. We gotta make that now. Same shot as last time, 108, less wind. Come on, Steve. And it got under it. Go in. Oh, wow. Sight. Your reaction made it seem like it was short of the green. No, I just didn't hit it good. Maybe I need to club up. Maybe that's my problem. A little bit left to right, right to left. Pretty much dead straight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for like a yes or a no. You looking at me? It's, it's gonna move right a good amount. Slow Say about a foot and a half. needs to go. This is where things can change one way or another. 
try to go dying pace and hit it a little bit through the break. Alright. <laughs> ah! Six over for Steve, three under for me. Four holes left, and I gotta go four under. 174, we're going little seven here. Taylor likes it. That means I like it. A little draw back into the pin. Got a birdie out here, boys. That's what we gotta do. Knock down seven should be a bit short, but we gotta look. Gotta make a long one. All right, 149 to the pin. I got a P wedge. I think the wind's left or right. Garrett has a shot up there. Looks good for birdie. Oh, I yanked it so hard. I'm gonna be honest, not too sure where that went. Well, you guys saw that. Atrocious. Hit it out. Gotta get up and down for a bogey. Uh, if we want to break 80, we can't be making doubles. Sit down. It's just golf today. That's not today. Today I played the best golf I've ever played. It's these last two holes. All right, Shayla. Need it. Need it bad. That wasn't, that wasn't even close. I saw that going right. That's crazy. That is a mistake on the reeds right there. Yes. Three more. There is a par five, Shaler. Eagle in play. That was just a misread there. It's unfortunate. Three under still. I mean, need I need a massive finish to break 65. Need a good hole. Need an eagle. Need something. And I need it bad. Driver in hand. I draw is the goal. Let's see what we can do. Well, we need it, Shaler. Come on. Let's hit this good, huh? Mm -hmm. Here, here's what I'm like. I'm gonna call this before I go. I'm gonna hit driver, five iron. Nice. Great. Oh, that's driver pitching much. Got it. 193. Going seven iron here. Need an eagle shaler. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Come on. Give me a pot at it. Definitely into. Yep. There's a par three back there, it fell into, and then it fell into here. 141 to the paint, I got a nine iron. You're about to see a shot. Does it not now feel down, Shaler? No. Dude, I hit the crap out of that. We can get up and down for a birdie. The rules are when you're this, this, you get to go one club length closer to the hole. Remember that. Find some nice grass. I have a tough spot here, boys. I gotta get up and down, gotta play a little nepper. I don't know how this flew the green by so much. Shot there, Steve. Best I can do for my abilities, brother. Didn't give myself the opportunity I wanted, but nonetheless, it needs to fall. Got a country mile to the hole, but we're good. Overall, I thought it was gonna go left. I've been tweaked out a little bit by these greens all day. No excuses though, I just, I'm struggling to find the lines. That's just on me. Cut for my birdie. Dude, what the freak is that? Hit the pin, that's a three stroke penalty too. Dude, golf, golf is a frustrating sport. Yeah, this is fun. Dude, I have hammered everything about 19 feet past every time. Have you noticed that? Yep. I'm so close to being an all right golfer, it's just, Irritating. Oh my, it's right there. I said that in your back swing. Thought I missed it left. Hey, let's go. Two more holes. We're four under. Oh my back's so tight. Steve, run. I can't. I don't got any money. I'd have to steal it. So are those, are those like dangerous? Oh yes. My slider with a clutch bar. Oh. Two See, more I'm, holes, Steve. You finish even par and you shoot 79. Come on. That's what I'm saying. Here's, here's the deal. I, I like I said, I'm so close. Being an all right golfer, it's just stupid mistakes that I'm trying to figure out. Two more holes, this is one that's actually almost reachable. Could be reachable, so this is the one that I need to eagle in order to break 65. Which means I'm going for it. This is where, it's make or break. I mean, honestly, if you want me to play smart and just play for par birdie, 
you would typically just want to hit one out maybe like a six iron even or a four iron you just guarantee you lock in par pretty much but today it's like there's one goal in mind that's the challenge that's the name of the game that's why i'm hitting driver that is why i'm trying to get this on the green the fairways are so hard that i think i can actually hit one 360 if i catch it right Well, I needed the left kick, not the right kick, unfortunately. We're not on the green, but we can chip that in. You never know. Ready for another long bomb, brother? Good answer. Oh. Huh? Yeah, you got the left bounce that I needed. Nice. If there was ever a time, Shaler, if there was ever a time, this right here, 36 yards, chip this in, birdie the last to shoot 64. I've done that like three times today where I've just tried to take the break out of it and just land it in the hole. Now I got a tester for birdie. It's carried a little bit too far. Needed to go for it. This looks chippable in a bowl. Sight. I'm just gonna try to get up and down for a little par. Birdie. <laughs> I'm longer than Garrett. So, we need to practice on wedge shots and putting. That is the two things I need to work on the most. Let's two putt this. I like that. Oh, and then and then you don't hit it. Huh. Where's the break though? I don't know. I thought for sure that's going right. I lost it. We've got another putt we can make. I can't get myself to trust that that goes left. What does mine do? A little bit. Got aggressive with the chip and then made par. We were 15 yards away from the green there. We really were. <laughs> we were that close. I can no longer shoot 64, but I can hold out on the final hole for a 65. And hopefully that's what I plan on doing. Final hole is a par four. That's a mistake that it's, it's often made, especially with me, is when I think I need to hold out or something. I just fall in love with the shot and then I get too aggressive or I flub it short. I think odds are, if you just play a shot how you normally would, you have a better chance of making it. On to hole nine, AKA hole number 18. Let's finish with a birdie or eagle. 350 through the fairway. I'm playing this, uh, trying to play a low one, a little low roller. Again, got to finish with a birdie or eagle. Eagle to shoot 65, birdie to shoot 66. All right, I gotta make a birdie to shoot the best score I've ever played in my life. So we're gonna try to do that. Just dumb mistakes that I shouldn't be making that I've been making. Does that make sense? I think so. You're gonna see something special here. Slap a like for this. I learned from my mistake on that par five. I'm gonna take an extra club. I think it's into the wind. Seven iron in here. Dial it in. Let's make birdie. Come on. Final hole. Shot. Probably 35 feet for bird. That would be for the 66. Yeah. Also, that would actually be my record. My best is 67. Wow. Yeah. I think you're closer than 35 feet. Really? Yeah. All right, 113 to the club, to the club, 113 to the pin. I'm going to take a little bit more club. Got to make a birdie to shoot my record. Steve, it's been like, do something for it. We need to take more club, I think. Ah, let's put that about 90 feet past and see if we can't make one. <laughs> Dude, did uh, you make that? You shoot 79. I know. I don't know what this does. I think it's going left the first half and then the second half is pretty straight. So I would, I would just go like a couple inches right of it. I'm short, I can make that. On these longer ones, I got to read a little bit more it's for the 66 and to shoot my record score. Oh. Uh, 
I thought it was playing too much break actually. Mm. Oh, I'm shocked that missed low. The putts that I missed today kind of came down to some misreads, but overall played well, 67. All right, Steve. Yeah, if anything, I think it would go right, but... I like straight. Go straight. If I don't make this putt, I'm gonna walk home. I'm actually gonna walk home. Oh, he gets to ride. I get to ride in the car. I shot an 80. Hey, 80, that's good. Would you shoot 66? 67. Unfortunately, uh, I missed my record by one. I tied my record at 67. Overall analysis, I kind of do this after the game. Irons, great. Honestly, don't think I really hit any iron shots that were like in my eyes I would consider bad. I would put them at like a 9.8. Putter was feeling pretty hot. If I missed a putt, I felt like it was more of a misread than a, than a missed stroke, if you will. So I would say that's around like an 8.5 or so. Definitely could add more fall. Tee shots were what kind of kind of screwed me a couple times. One of which being on the par three and then the other of which being on the uh, the first hole we played, hole number 10, par five. So overall, I don't know, I'd say probably 8.6. I still hit it well. So overall, it was a really solid day, four under. It wasn't quite the 65 number. We had two bogeys. We had uh, three birdies on this side. We had three birdies on the other side. Unfortunately, those two bogeys dropped it down to four under. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to convince Steve to do a break 80 challenge on his channel. Yeah, I think I might do it. This was fun. Let him know in the comments down below if you want to see that as well as after he does that, then a break 75. Yeah. Because I don't think it'll take Steve too much practice in order to break 80 for the first time on camera. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stay tuned for more content. Until next time, guys. Peace.